Hey everybody, it's Cortez with the Deck Profile. This is going to be my revamped Mega Colony Machinings. I will be doing a lot of things that I have support on, um, some things I just haven't got around to doing, and so on and so forth. Um, machinings haven't really changed too much from my previous videos, but um, the, the recent support, I added that in, and uh, stride support, and so on and so forth. So, machining little be mainly because it's a machining. That is the main reason, not because of its skill uh, of putting into so standing and giving something plus f uh, three. Um, from time to time, I do come around to using it if I do happen to ride or sickle or something like that. So, um, yeah. So that's the main starter right there, just because it's machining. This is um, about 98% machining, 95% uh, machining. There's a few cars that aren't, but my triggers. Got four machining scorpion crit triggers and four of the new machining firefly. When you place this on a rear guard, kind of blast one and stun a unit if you have a machining vanguard. Um, that is pretty much uh, awesome uh, effect, uh, especially with Machine and Destroyer. Um, you know, if you're not running a machining deck and you are, uh, just so happen to have Machine Destroyer and want to use this card's effect, that's the, pretty much the only way you can do it. So, um, for machining Scarab, the new draw trigger, and for machining Bombix, the new heal. Uh, all machining uh, triggers really help in the counter blasting since all we had was uh, uh, so the other two crit triggers that weren't machining. So, great ones. I run two little Dorcas, the Stride Fighter. Uh, this is what I was talking about being the 95%. He's not a machining, but just in case if I don't want to keep pitching my threes, um, go ahead and use him. I don't run uh, dark face in this man that this is machining specific um, and three paralyzed Madonna because I didn't have a fourth I run one machining quintet wall so out of all of these cars these five are not machining four machining caucuses really puts on that blocking pressure for your opponent because if they don't and he boosts anything that is machining it hits the vanguard you stun a unit and for 10k attackers when you have a machining vanguard so that's pretty good right there for again pressure uh, pushing 16k columns and so on and so forth so great choose running two of the mate machining hornet it is pretty much papilio with a 9k body and for a strict legion uh, when you place it and you're in legion uh, it stuns a unit so there's a free stun there. For 12k attacker, we have a machining vanguard. And, you know, for again pressure. And the new machining mosquito mark 2. Uh, I really enjoy this card. Uh, again, for that pressure of hitting your opponent, you stun a unit and you get to restand one of your uh, uh, rear guards. And um, not only that, it's an 11k attacker. So, they're definitely going to want to block this guy. Um, granted, it is not like, you know, the other rear guard gets a bonus or anything, which would really be awesome. But, you know, it's a free cost. And it's a once per turn thing. So, uh, definitely running for this guy. Um, I, I feel he uh, is pretty much a staple now. So, anyway, great threes. Running one machining tarantula because I don't have a fourth scorpion mark two. Um, basically, when you're in Legion and you drive check this or uh, this, you kind of blast one and you stun the vanguard. That's quite dependent on luck, and very rarely have I pulled it off, so that's why I only run him at one. Um, and his other effect is you can soul blast two and stun a unit. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm running three of the new machining uh, Scorpion Mach 2. He's pretty much a Legion Stag Beetle. Uh, so you kind of blast one. Discard him. Him. Or because he can also Legion with him. Or her. Or. Or however you want to say it. 
Um, because he, uh, again, he can, you know, legion with either one of those. Counter Blast one, discard him, him, uh, the other two, and choose up the three machining units in your soul. Call them to separate rears and at rest, and he gains the original power of each of those units. So this is where machining little b would then come into play. Um, and you know, cause, uh, his second skill also is pretty much machining little b minus the bonus. Put a, a machining unit into the from rear into your soul, and stand one of your uh, rear guards, and then you stun uh, one of your opponent's rear guards. That's why I like him mainly because of his second skill, not because of his first. And again, he's a machining. And I still feel that Machining War Cycle is um, almost a necessity for those who want to play that uh, Grade 2 game. And you could also sub in uh, some Limit Break Enablers. Uh, excuse me, Tech In, I should say. And, uh, you know, that way you can immediately start uh, choking on your, choking up that, uh, that hand for your opponent. Um, I might even do it myself. Um, that's just me. So, uh, my strides. Oh, before I go to my strides, its skill is if it doesn't hit the van, your opponent's vanguard. This will then uh, the, uh, by the, this is pretty much a mind game. If I hit, if I don't let him hit, I go. I don't stand my vanguard, and I have no threes. And the chances of me drive checking a three may be slim to none. And then if he does hit, then nothing happens. But once you in his second skill is once uh. You uh, ride him, counter blast the machining, take a machining out of soul, place it on rear at rest. So that also helps fill your field for machining destroyer. So basically, counter blast too if he doesn't hit, stun the uh, vanguard, and call the uh, free unit. You know, in a sense, that's why I run him. So now my strats. Running for machining destroyer. Uh, he is pretty much a, like a counter blast one stun the vanguard if you have four more machining rear guards and you have the counter blast the machining so that is pretty much it um, you stun the vanguard and one of the rear guards it's a really good cost um, and fairly easy to pull off especially um, if you just so happen to legion with um, scorpion and fill the field the previous turn and uh, you have you know you still got a pretty good field depending on what you play so uh, fairly easy to pull off and then I run for of uh, four spear mutant deity stun beetle this guy is stupid crazy good like he will pretty much. He's pretty much a bait card, um, and I say bait card is to getting out those, get, get forcing those PGs out. That is pretty much his job. When uh, after you did did one uh, machine and destroyer, then because he's a GB two skill, so he's got to be your second ride. Uh, excuse me, second stride. He's got to be your second stride. So. Uh, if he hits, counter blast two, persona flip, and your opponent cannot ride or stand the vanguard next turn. So that's pretty much calling it game. Um, I would definitely switch out the PGs once I do get around to it, to the damage on flipping PGs, mainly because Mega Colin doesn't have a on hit counter charge or so blast two counter charge two. Um, there is the uh, Cray Elemental um, that you could sub in two Cray Elementals and that way when you do play the cards you Soul Blast 2 and you unflip X amount of damage to uh, you know Cray Elementals face up in the G zone. Um, you could again sub out two of these for two Cray Elementals for uh, Cray Elemental tier that I think, I think that's what it's called so yeah, these are my new machine. Well, fairly new machinings with their new support. Comment, like, like, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. Peace out.